Alrighty, we pulled up at a, uh, a rest stop. We've done, done enough driving. Try not to do any more than 300 k's and I think we're just uh, teetering on uh, 290 odd k's. So we drove, um, I think it was about 180 k's from there to um, Nanatara, Nanatara, I think it is. Nanatara is a roadhouse there and a fuel stop. Man, it was busy. There was people everywhere gassing up. Um, so, so now we've just traveled from there 110 k's all the way down here to a place called Burkett Rest Area. It's small. Um, but one thing we've missed, um, really good Wi-Fi reception. I know all our holidays and things shouldn't be all based around Wi-Fi. It should be peace and quiet. Well, yeah, we've had that probably four days of um, no reception. So Jude's got heaps of work to catch up on. And, and um, as I said, most of the spots just hasn't, hasn't been adequate. There was a good spot up the road about 40 k's. Um, I think it was called Barradale. Um, big wide open space it was really really nice a bit of shade around and things and was really tempted to stay there there was some uh, phone reception there but um you, your streaming stuff was just a little bit on the old uh buffering and uh, it seems to be a, a turning point um over over uh to my right here looks like a turning point i'm not too sure what condition the road is there but it seems like a spot that you can head to uh, exmouth um, you might think we're crazy coming all this distance and not going into Hexmouth and Coral Bay and bits and pieces. But uh, hey, it is, it is in that peak season and bits and pieces. I kept on saying, why knock it off now when we can go and do it a second time and probably look at it when it's a bit quieter. Um, it, just prices in there are ridiculous. Um, We'll elect it out of that, and Jude, as I said, managed to, earlier. As I said earlier, Jude managed to nab some um, uh, a great price in Carnarvon. So I'd rather go and spend uh, some bit of accommodation, cheaper accommodation there at Carnarvon, and then go and spend some Carnarvon dollars there. And um, yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll turn left there, head down to there, and uh, do that. But I've got, I think it's about. Um, I think it's about 255 k's from here to Carnarvon and our accommodation isn't booked book till Tuesday and today's Saturday so yeah tonight and then I've got to just find another couple of spots on the way here um, to our way slowly to Carnarvon. Just on leaving from this rest stop, but further down into the, the bushes there, check out the size of this spider web. And I, oh yeah, you can see the spider inside there too. Sitting there, he's got a perfect little spot for the breezes to come in and out. Look at the size of him. On the move again, leaving this stop here, heading our way down to Carnarvon now. Um, we'll be, yeah, t we're going to spend the next two uh, nights, I think I've got the place sorted out, but uh, this one's tw well, 24 hours, so we've got to move on, the next one down um, that we stop at uh, doesn't show a 24 hours, so should be able to hang a little bit longer, it wasn't a bad night's sleep, and it was a brilliant night's sleep last night, hardly heard a thing, rode so close, um, yeah, it was good. So uh, great uh, sunset, hopefully Jude will find that photo and uh, show you how awesome it was. Every sunset's different, you know, one you got silhouettes of trees, rocks, hills, boulders, valleys, gorges. This one here, the sunset was of the plains, so it was nice. Anyway, well, uh, Jude's got the truck running and putting everything all back together again and we're going to go and give her a hand. We have hit the jackpot. Well, better not speak too soon, but... <laughs> What a, what a great spot this one is. Um, mini, mini layer, min layer, mini layer. So it'll put uh, a description. It's it's down in wiki camps is the overload from the rest area. We decided to hook in here first. Um, and yeah, it's a good little spot. I'd be worried if it rained, the surface doesn't look terribly uh, absorbed, well, yeah. It just looks a bit muddy in places. Um, but we haven't had any rain and the forecast is hopefully pretty good. Um, 120 k's. That was from Burkett rest area. Um, nice easy drive. 
piece of cake. Pulled in here and uh, nice and early as some people were leaving and we snagged this spot here which is just great for me sun, great for the, over, uh, the, the overview here is nice. A uh, little fire pit there in the middle. My only worry is um, there's a little bit of ant trails around and uh, that was ant trails. And um, yeah, obviously don't want to get too many ants in the van. We bombed them after, uh, bombed the van after um, Broom, I think it was, or 80 Mile, one of those two. We, we got a few little ants walking around. We, uh, every time we looked at the bench, there was another few, few ants. So, so I've put some, um, Jude picked up some, some powder um, that we've gone and popped around the wheels. I don't know whether you can see it from here. Um, and I've put a little spray down too, so don't want to let them little pesty guys get in, or well, we've got a few more bombs left. So yeah, was it Burkett rest area, 120 k's, and funnily enough, we're 120 k's uh, shy of uh, Carnarvon. But uh, we got uh, good sun. There's a roadhouse just across the road, so uh, we might nip over and go and get a, a fresh pot of chips. So we'll get away out of the sun here, and pff, here we go. That's our outlook from the, the veranda. There's a awning, it's looking good. A couple of um, interesting um, points coming here. We we went across the uh, excuse the flies. We went across. Yeah, okay, I'll get there. We come across the uh, Tropic of Capricorn. It's the second time this trip, so I couldn't find it, and I was looking for it around. I think it was Longreach, the Tropic of Capricorn. So we crossed it on the way up, and then we've pretty much been on the top of Australia there and just following it along. And now we've made a, a, a turn back down again, and we cross the Tropic of Capricorn. Not too au fait with it, but it's got something to do with the sun being at 90 degrees to that part of the, the Earth's surface at certain times of the year, which is the best effective the warmth or cold or something like that. Don't quote me on that one. Tropic Capricorn and the other one, which I can't give too much information about because I can't seem to research any there, but on the way here has been the first time, um, well, yesterday I saw it and I forgot to mention it, but today I come across them again and they were dunes. You know? So there was these big, big sand dunes that were running across the road so there's a couple of areas you went between the dunes but there were some areas where the road had to go over the dunes so yeah I can say that uh, I've actually gone across the dunes in an eight meter motorhome towing a three meter trailer and uh, didn't have a problem mate <laughs> so um, yeah I guess they belong to some kind of desert or some sort of winds and things but yeah it was so so interesting to see so a couple of days here at um, Minlayer mini layer I might go to the roadhouse and find out what how you pronounce it so uh, you to enjoy oh well update on that medical situation yep all, all's good you know what they say happy wife happy life yeah well she's got about three days of home and away to catch up on and she's <laughs> she's in her element I got the sound I got the screen and don't worry, I will catch a sunset. All will, all, all will be okay. Well, actually, what do you know? Hang on, sunset, sunset. I don't know, what is better? What do you call it? fiction? Reality. Yeah, we'll get back to that one. There we go, the end of another day. A WA sunset. Move on day. We're leaving uh, Mini Layer and uh, it's been a lovely couple of days uh, here just relaxing. Um, oh, just about packed up, ready to go. We started to get the slide in. Yesterday was a good day. Actually, uh, there was a real heavy do last uh, yesterday night, uh, yesterday morning, I should say, and uh, the old van was uh, just absolutely saturated in juice, so that was a good time to get a little wipe down. And, with some of the bugs and things like that, so it uh, was a good chore. Um, heading into Caravan today, one little point, um, Jude's uh, credit to bringing this one here up, we just passed a sign here that sort of said, going into Caravan, make sure you don't bring any uh, fresh fruit in and bits and pieces for uh, obviously biosecurity reasons and things, so I don't think there's a, uh, a checkpoint or anything, but uh, it's obviously on ourselves just to respect the, the, the fruit laws and things. 
but looking forward to getting some fresh fruit in Carnarvon. I see there's some um, good looking uh, stores around and it's one thing we've missed since uh, well, Maryborough. We got some good um, fresh fruit as a guy we drove around. We got a little bit there at, uh, uh, was it Catherine? Well, Kununara. Kununara. There's another spot we got some um, fresh fruit as we drove around, but not as much as I would have hoped. And um, oh, the, the other one yeah, was that we did a store in Kununara, the uh, red papaya. It was good. So yeah, be missing a bit of the old uh, cheaper fresh fruit from the straight from the garden sort of thing, you know. So we'll look at that. Anyway, we'll crank up out of here and make a move to Carnarvon. Made it to Carnarvon. 120, 140 k's from um, Mini Mini Layer, and uh, yeah, easy drive and. Uh, when you started getting in, there's a river, I think it was called the Gascoigne River or something, obviously a major um, distributor of uh, water to what is now a fruit bowl here. So uh, bananas and mangoes and all sorts around the place. So, yep, looks like I'll get my wish and get some fresh fruit. Cool. So here we are, yeah, parked at the um, it's a Discovery Park, I think it is, at uh, Carnarvon here. And... Um, yeah, they've catered for the bigger rigs quite nice. They managed to squeeze us, but then of course a much bigger rig over there. And uh, behind me, you will see the, uh, um, what do they call it, a satellite dish or something there. So that's the Carnarvon Space Centre. As I said to the young fellow that was um, tending the grounds here, I said, uh, so what's the code so we can pop into unlimited satellite TV? And uh, he just laughed. He said, it's actually the opposite. Apparently we've got pretty poor reception here as far as tally goes. <laughs> Funny eh? Anyway we, we just uh, as you can see by all the washing and the cleaning and things gone mad so I've stocked up the shelf with a few bits and pieces but it's been a bit windy today so it's been a good day to drive get parked up here clean the washing and uh, yeah we'll just settle in and get comfortable for a couple of days and then we're here for five days so we've got plenty of time just to tootle. We'll get the bikes out and go for a bit of a bike ride and things and explore and anything that's a little bit further away, we'll, we'll go tootling in the van. So we'll rest easy and take it easy here in Carnarvon. Well, we finally made it out of the rat race of uh, Carnarvon. Spent a couple of days there doing some cleaning, tidying, and um, taking it easy. But uh, yeah, get some fresh air and some salt fresh air at that, how good. So we're at a place called um, Wabba. It's about 45 minutes out of uh, Carnarvon um, in a northerly direction. A bit of a change of plans. We were going to uh, come here um, after our five days in Carnarvon, but I've gone and jumped the gun and um, done some booking a bit further down the track. And um, I really uh, don't have that amount of time between being here two days and then getting to where we are. So we thought we'll pop up here for a day trip. Have a look at the, uh, this is the aquarium right here. This is a, a popular swimming hole here where you can hopefully see a f quite a few fish. So looking forward to that. And then there's a campground in the background here. It's about $11 a night. And uh, there's a lighthouse in behind the van and between the sun up there. And back in the other direction, um, past those vans, there's the blowholes. So hopefully the tide's low at the moment, I think, and everything is all best when it's a bit higher. We'll go and see what the water's like. Every day brings new light To help us on our way Always taking my breath Whether sun or rain The wind will carry us over That horizon we see Is getting closer
aquarium at Koba. It's really pretty. Just been out for our swim. I think the tide's been going out, so get a little bit more challenging out there to Beach is beautiful, colours are beautiful. What a day at Quabba. We're going to have a walk down here to the right now and go and have a look at the um, blowholes. But we've got some good fish, but we're going to lose it as far as the blowholes go, I think. But have a look. Well, we've walked from the aquarium. That's uh, the other side where that truck is. And uh, we're over on the, the blowhole side now, but not too sure. I think we're down in front of me a bit. Beautiful ocean though, beautiful clarity. Spectacular view. I look a bit over here where the blowholes could be just fizzing. Just while we've been standing here watching the blowhole at Quabba, the whale action out here is incredible. It's too far to zoom out or zoom in and have a look, but uh, I'll give it a go. But um, there's one out there that's a little bit close. He's been smashing the water like nobody's business. And yeah, Murphy's Law. Start up the camera and the action goes quiet. here when the tide is up it's going down now so it's not so much fun but the new tide in awesome and then over that way we just visited the blowholes same again incoming tide gets you better we just saw the last of the tide going out and got a couple but wow beautiful alrighty Judy um, this is we're going to go across the, uh, the Gascoigne River which I believe as it says there underground water area. Now don't quote me but I believe it's kind of like an upside down river. There's a real real hard rock base down low there and there's all the sand that's on the top and a large amount of water is actually in between the sand and that rock. So I guess these pipes that you see here on the left hand side you got these um, over on this side here those pipes. They've probably got pumps up or something, I don't know. And of course a lot of this water from the Gascoigne River is then used to um, uh, water all the fruit and produce that's around this area. hard work all the swimming and watching the blow holes all the uh, touristy stuff one of the uh, other places I see that's uh, one to call in and have a look at it's um, Bumbax I think they call it famous for um, chocolate dipped um, bananas and chocolate dipped mangoes so hopefully we're in luck and it's apparently bad season for fruit stuff plenty of veggie stuff just my luck but anyway go and see what else they got is their store. Looks good. Bathroom facilities. Oh, be prepared when you come into this place. Bumbax. You got banana jam, lemon man marmalade, coconut, mango coconut jam, lemon marmalade, pickled beef fruit. Shelves are absolutely full of caramelized fig and balsamic onion relish. 
getting into the hot stuff here. Oh, your vinaigrettes. You've got your chilli paste, your bum burners. Sweet chilli sauce, barbecue sauce. To top it all off, you can have heaps of ice creams. Banana coated ice creams, fig ice creams, Rocky Road, mangoes, caramelised pina colada, mango fruit pops.